Hey Scorpio, this is Obsidian Lotus L. Don't mind the mask. If I sound muffled, I apologize. I am wearing a mask. I actually um, was eight minutes in a reading and I just stopped um, because I just channeled some really heavy energy. Um, and I'm not really sure if it's appropriate for me to put on YouTube right now. Um, it was concerning a matter that is very scary. Um, and I'm just going to because I don't want to, uh, I'm just going to put, I just decided to start over and channel the energy and do a different reading. Okay. There's an energy of, um, a situation Scorpio for you, um, that needs to be handled. There are things coming to light. Okay. In a situation. And I feel like there's an energy of somebody already handling it in an appropriate manner. Um, there's also, uh, a way that you need to continue to handle it in an appropriate manner, however that makes sense to you. Um, I feel like uh, in doing so, um, you've caught somebody in a situation red-handed, basically. And persons, person, persons, okay? Um, and it's kind of a situation where it's, it's disgusting and it has to do with some stuff that's, uh, scary. And, um, I feel like it's something that there does, there needs to be, uh, it needs, it just needs to be handled appropriately, basically. So, um, with that being said, um, if you're feeling like there are things being blocked in your life systematically, like taking care of yourself your child, your job, anything, providing a way to take care of you and your family. I want you to take a deep breath, okay? I'm looking out into the sun right now, and it's really, it's really sunny where I live. Take a deep breath and feel the sun on your face and your body and soak it in with me, okay? Just breathe. Think about things that make you happy and whole at whole, at peace in your life, okay? Um, this energy wants you to die. And I, and I, and, and, and it's the energy of, it's disgusting. And I feel like it's, it's evil. It doesn't care about you and your child or children. Um, it's an energy um, that is torturing you on purpose. Um, and that's all I'm going to say about it. All right. So I want you to just breathe with me right now. For whoever that's for. I already cried a minute ago. Love and light. Okay. I'm going to burn the sol the um, Palo Santo really quick. And then we're going to get into the reading. Um, I'm also doing running a special right now for you guys, for everybody this week. Uh, please take advantage of it while you can. Um, uh, $20 for 20 minutes, okay? At least 20 minutes for a personal reading. It's a great deal. I'm only going to do it this week. 15 minutes for a personal reading for... Um, a quick mini personal reading as well. Okay. Um, the energy, I feel like that you're that before I get into the reading, okay, this is an energy too, for whoever I'm speaking to that feels they've done this to other people. They've got, it's, it's whatever they do. And, and I'm not going to get into it, but it's a systematic thing they've gotten away with. Um, this person, people have no remorse. They don't feel guilty about it. It's a paycheck to them, what they do. Okay. Um, you are not a human being to this person, to this energy. Okay. Um, so when you feel I want you to, when you're praying and meditating, um, really, really, really focus on happiness, positivity, strength, okay? Um, asking the universe and God to provide you with the direction and knowledge that you need to handle the situation 
in an appropriate manner, manner, okay? Um, because I feel like for somebody, uh, it, it, enough time has passed. Um, and in this situation, it's something like I feel like these people let you slide for a little while. Um, if you've been very like uh, vigilant about uh, doing whatever it takes to take care of you and your family. Um, and they try to come at you with a, at a different angle. And it's just never going to stop until you've actually dealt with it, apparently. So, yeah. And this person just drove down the street where I live, like, revving their engine. It's a very aggressive energy um, that you have to really have, meditate heavy um, on your happiness, your stability, um, safety. All right. Um manifesting how to get out of the situation and get into a better situation for you and your family. All right. So I'm going to leave that there for you, Scorpio. I hope that's, um, you know, those words of wisdom are helpful for somebody. I've been through my own horrible, uh, situations in life. So I have a lot of knowledge about just really navigating through in, and still on a daily basis now, um, things that are extremely difficult, right? So it's really finding that inner strength, inner wisdom, okay? Um, but really, really, really grabbing hold of um, that inner strength, wisdom, faith, right? For me, it's been a, it's been about prayer, and 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 for me, like too, when I pray. And, and I'm always shown, I feel like I've always been shown exactly what I need to see right when I need to see it, right? And, and it's, it's, it's kind of like um, we're in the times of like, I mean, it's hard to relax too if you're stressed out about life and stuff, period. But it's kind of like letting that time go by and letting and, and, not, um, and not focusing on, I feel like all the chaos is a distraction. That's the right way to with, we're, that's the right way to put it, okay? All the chaos created in your life and the worry and stress is a distraction to what is really going on, okay? That's what needed to come out. All right, so I hope that's helpful for somebody. I'm going to get into the actual reading before, we're, like, we're already 10 minutes in almost. So um, I love you guys, and whatever you're going through, um, just remember, you know, uh, it's gonna be okay the father okay this I didn't even see was in here so this to me basically speaks of you know uh, God to me okay and that guidance seeking that guidance from um, within and and listening to it okay being shown the light okay the eternal child right next to it next to the father okay um, and then the mirror we're gonna read what the mirror means but I feel like this is your energy and this is the energy right now. And I feel like I'm being led to make this video for somebody as well. Um, you are your father's child, right? Okay. Um, God loves you. Okay. You're a child of light. Um, the mirror. Let's look for it. And then we're going to get into the reading. So, yeah, like I said, hit me up for a personal reading if you're interested in one. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on the channel to show your love and support. Okay? There is the energy of uh, somebody trying to harm somebody because they want to completely get away with something. Maybe they've already gotten away with it and they want to continue to get away with it. Um, like I said before, really, really just continue to do what you're supposed to the messages that you get, okay, um, don't ignore them and take appropriate action.
the mirror. We look into the mirror. We look into mirrors every day without recognizing them as portholes into another realm. They can shatter, flatter, distort, reflect, and project any image back to us that we deem to be true. The energy of the mirror is all about self-perception. When the archetype of the mirror appears, we are in the mythic land of narcissists who saw himself reflected in a pool and fell in love with his own image. So compelled by his reflection, he could not turn away, a fixation that eventually led to his death. Recognize the power and the danger of the mirror. It is a construct, one that may drive a shard between you and your true self. The mirror contains trickster energy. Put the phone down, stop with the comparisons, and let the mirror stand empty for a while. Rest with the one inside. Okay? So this is just basically narcissist energy, what is what I'm feeling like I'm picking up for you, Scorpio. Um, I feel like this is the energy you've been dealing with in this situation. Very narcissist and maybe a group of narcissists, okay? Um, but you're right next to the father here as a child of God. So, so I feel like the message in that is just really, really, really... Um, recognize what you're seeing as painful as it is for what it is and really dive into your faith and meditation and healing work and um, guidance from the universe to assist you and guide you right now with where you need to go okay however that resonates for you okay so we're going to go ahead and get into the actual reading now for you There's something about bodybuilding or people that like are, are really, really like health conscious or something. There's something like that uh, whole, it's just, it's all connected to this horrible group of people uh, for someone. Um, so maybe that's what the mirror, like this narcissist energy, it's like these people see themselves as being perfect and godlike, right? Um, but it's completely like the opposite. They're back, they're very evil. Um, so... I feel like, uh, what, however that resonates for you, Scorpio, just take that message. However it resonates, if it resonates for you guys. Okay. Drop a comment in the comment box. Okay. So, all right, we're going to get into the reading spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, please help me provide Scorpio with any messages, sun, moon, rising that you would like for them to receive. I do like the way that though ultimately that energy is how I feel like spirit also wants the message to be yeah aggressive energy as soon as I'm talking about it I heard that again it was loud confirmation that that persons or that people persons that energy is ultimately also though what is going to bring them to their demise so um seek the light within is the message here Angels, ancestors, please help me provide Scorpio some rising with any messages you would like for them to receive. I'm gonna get this deck out first. Be protected with your white light of protection through the tarot. Amen. And anybody that's tried to block you uh, from being able to support yourself or your family could even be with magic here. Um, I feel like because I was just getting this message, I was thinking about it as soon as I pulled these two cards. Their evolution, their money, their everything is going to be stopped here. Reversed, whatever. Um, they're going to pay for what, what they tried to do to you. You don't mess with children of the God, of the light. You just don't. All right. 
king of wands energy could be a leo all right so we're gonna pull that because i don't like the way that already feels anyway um Scorpio sort of like them to receive. This is the wheel of fortune coming out. Okay, so karma, karmic destiny, fate, so um an ending. So I feel like there's an ending to a cycle coming in for you, Scorpio. Um, and you're going to want to celebrate here with the joy. Three of cups. This is celebration, emotional celebration. So there's going to be an end of it. I like, I like seeing this with, with the energy that I was feeling. Okay. And the energy that I was feeling, whatever's gone on, I feel like this is going to be a hell of an emotional celebration for you. This ending is going to make you feel like you have like died and gone to heaven, basically. Like this is like just you thought it was never going to happen. Okay. You thought this hell was never going to be over here. Um, I feel like for somebody, they just thought that you were just going to die like this or whatever was going on. It's really sad and intense energy, but this is spirit saying this is a, um, karmic ending. Okay. To a cycle. Okay. And whatever, see, this is destiny for you. Okay. The cycle is complete because it tends our completion. Um, for somebody else, karma is coming. Okay. Celebration here. You could be celebrating when you hear about it or just celebrating your life again. Okay. There's going to be a lot of joy in this celebration. No more sleepless nights. Um, or you might still be in the energy of losing some sleep. Okay. Could be involving an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Doesn't have to be, but that is the energy that is showing up with this card. This could be currently going on right now for you. Or this is this person's going to be losing a lot of sleep if they had something to do with any kind of situation that had ill intent towards you. Okay. It's like the tables are going to be turned, reversed. Yeah. Um, seven of cups. Okay. The energy of basically um, things aren't what they seem. So... There's something going on with this energy too. I feel like that has to do with you. Things aren't what they seem in a situation. Um, could be involving a water sign as well. Third party energy here showing up. Could be involved with this air sign energy. So, um, hmm. Or cancer, because I just looked down and saw this. Um, clarifying what this nine of swords energy is with the seven of cups and three of swords energy for Scorpio. I feel like somebody's connection is so strong with God that if somebody tampers with stuff right okay this is this this karmic cycle this wheel here i feel like it's almost kind of a cycle that people are going to start to notice what's happening like their their life is affected so dramatically by meddling or doing something to harm this energy that there's no way that people can deny what's going on in the situation okay seven of cups again something isn't what it seems something wasn't what it seemed with a water sign energy. Emperor in reverse could be involving an Aries and low vibrational energy here. Um, something possibly wasn't what it seemed for. Uh... All right, there's an Aries involved in a situation. Something isn't what it seems. Okay, it could be involving this air sign, third party energy. I'm seeing two men here too. So it could be um, somebody on the low in a situation as well. Men that like men, nothing wrong with that, but I feel like it's like they don't let other people know, okay? There's something sneaky going on in this situation, right? Um, a love offer from a water sign.
So what I'm getting to is there's a water sign male and an Aries male and third party energy and connection to something that has to do with you, Scorpio. All right. Could be a cancer because I did see the chariot, right? Remember? So let's see. Doesn't have to be there. What is this Knight of Cups energy? Or something isn't what it seems in a love offer from a Scorpio or an Aries energy or air sign. Um, there was third party energy. Something wasn't what it was seemed. Okay, so there was some sort of underlying manipulation. Could be involving a group of friends here because we do have the three of cups that I just looked down. So, um, let's see. Spying, gossiping, um, the energy of backstabbing, um, air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Queen of Swords, and let's see. It looks like it flew out in reverse. So it's the energy of somebody being dishonest here too, in the air sign. So there was some sort of a manipulation, gossip, lies, um, third party energy convol involving an air sign um, in this whole situation. <laughs> like what the hell is going on here, okay? I don't know. I'm gonna get my other deck out and see. What energy do we have coming towards Scorpio? So I feel like this is either current energy or past. Maybe this is speaking of the situation. It had something to do with, um, this is the ending, okay? This is all situation that's ending or part of an ending here. That you're gonna be celebrating being away from or free from. I just saw judgment. So yeah, judgment's coming for somebody's fucking ass in this situation. <laughs> Excuse my language, but I got to call it like I see it. Somebody's going to be really, really reaping some judgment in a situation. I just saw this. There's going to be a success though for you. Okay. Victory, success in situation. I feel like the success is going to be feeling free. All right. Free, free to live again. Free to do whatever it is that you need to do to take care of yourself, your child. could have possibly been somebody in the legal system here with a judgment as well um manipulating um causing some challenges because i just saw the five of wands too for you in the situation okay some underlying uh somehow there was somebody corrupt in the legal system involved in this situation as well yeah um you're in the energy of wanting to leave and you're stuck and you can't i feel like you want to leave the situation could be involving an air sign Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. Um, let's see. What other energy do we have coming in for Scorpio? Um, you want the truth in a situation. Okay. This is what this means. All right. This is the uh, Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You could be wanting the truth from an air sign. Um, has something to do possibly with a large amount of money here. We have the Ace of Pentacles, or it just could be, um, you know, you want to make a change um, and move towards something that's more abundant for your life, okay? Um, you want the truth to come out too. I feel like somebody for the energy of, if there was people meddling with your life, your money, your finances, the way for you to take care of your, you and your children or whatever. It's like you want the truth to come out. You're tired of this. You want you want truth. You want you want it to, to be like revealed here. Because you're stuck in it and you can't change. You can't leave. Okay. You want freedom here. You want answers to this. The world card coming, showing up though, I feel like is really, uh, I like seeing this. This is, your world's about to change, okay? I feel like whatever's going on right now for you, I feel like your world's about to change and for the better here, okay? Um, feeling oppressed, you're 
this isn't going to be an energy that you're going to be in anymore here. We do have that. And I've, I mean, I've picked it up the whole entire reading. Heavy, heavy oppression here. Okay. Heavy oppression and control. This is stopping. Okay. This is going to stop for you. Um, or somebody's trying to keep you in a world of heavy oppression. Okay. That could be what that is too here. And you want the truth about what's going on. Um, Seven of swords, but in reverse. So feeling uncertain. Okay. So the energy of betrayal, dishonesty, this is all in reverse though. Okay. So, um, I feel like past energy again with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Um, I'm going to get my other deck and see if we can clarify what this means really quick. What is the Seven of Swords energy for Scorpio? Three of Wands could be some with a fire sign that wanted expansion with you. Okay. Um, I feel like you're questioning to, if there's this person has had some sort of involvement with this situation in the past for somebody. Um, Seven of Wands in reverse, okay? But it's it's kind of like you don't feel guarded towards this person, but you used to. There was a level of uncertainty about a fire sign that you um, were involved with. I feel like briefly you are no longer involved, okay? Let's see. I don't know how that's just random, but maybe it needs to be said, whatever that was. <laughs> what is um, the best advice, final outcome for this reading? You're not going to be feeling anxious anymore, okay? The Nine of Wands, after this this energy, I feel like this forced oppression towards your life is ending or will be. You're not going to be in the, you're not going to feel like um, you're too stressed out or having nightmares, too, too many burdens, right? Because um, it is in reverse. And like it could be, like I said, be, invo be involving a fire sign. You're getting money news here. I feel like this is what's going to help you right now in, in your situation, possibly change it. Um, and not feel stressed out anymore, okay? Not feel oppressed anymore or stuck. Three of Pentacles, it could have something to do with what you do, quality craftsmanship or working well with someone. Could have to do with like a job offer here. Um, that could be the money news. Prayers being answered. There's uh, somebody's going to be recognized for something. This also could be the money news. There could be um, maybe uh, your prayers being answered in this situation, and and you getting um, some kind of just uh, judgment, right, in a situation. Um, or this is the star energy. Uh, prayers being answered, and um, or just uh, you know being recognized. Okay, you could be in the spotlight or given an opportunity. Um, that uh, brings you abundance in your life, okay? That um, puts you in the spotlight in some way, shape, or form. All right. I'm going to try to lighten the mood a little bit and see if we have any sexual love energy coming towards you really quick, Scorpio, because that was intense. I feel like I need a hug. All right. <laughs> Good Lord. I mean, there's just, I feel like there's just, just a super, super sad energy. Um, and it's, it's, it's heavy oppression, heavy abuse. And I, I just, I feel so strongly in my heart. You didn't deserve any better, but okay. Let's see. Spirit angels, ancestors, please help me provide. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, with any more messages you would like for them to receive. Love. Sexual partner coming in. Energy. Knight of Wands. So there's something new coming in for you. Fun. Um, it has the potential of possibly being a one night stand. So be careful about what energy you kind of allow at the moment. If you want this fun free for the night energy, it's there. Okay. It could be involving a, um, an air or I mean a fire sign. Leo Aries Sagittarius energy could possibly be younger than you. Um, seven of Pentacles though. I feel like spirit is saying have patience here. Um, that's coming in, but if you have patience, we'll see what, what else is coming in. 
three of wands. There's an energy that actually wants expansion with you. <laughs> Take it however it resonates, right? Um, two of wands. This person's been waiting to make a decision. And then we have the knave of swords. So this is somebody that possibly um, has been watching you. Okay. This is an air sign to an air energy. Maybe this person did something in the past and they regret it. Okay. So this could be a past person coming back that does want to... Um, start a new connection with you. Yeah, the Ace of Wands here. They're very attracted to you sexually, um, energetically. Okay, so you've got two two energies coming in. One's more fun for the night and one's, um, this person is interested in a lot of sex, but a little bit, a lot of sex and a, and a commitment, okay, here as well. <laughs> so um, again, I said, what do we have? We have a lot of fire and a lot of air energy on the table, okay doesn't have to be that's just the energy very passionate energy this person can be very passionate about you what you do admire you for how passionate you are there's some kind of connection with passion for the two of you okay um, i'm going to leave that part of the reading there and see if we have a few messages from my um angels let me use this deck really quick spirit angels ancestors please provide scorpio with a few more messages for them To help heal this situation, see the other's point of view with compassion. So I feel like Spirit is saying um, to help you heal with whatever you've been through. Um, I don't feel like it's saying accept some of the behavior that was done that was wrong. I feel like Spirit is saying acknowledge where, why this person is the way they are, what they've been through um, in order to heal yourself. Okay. So whatever this horrible situation is for you, however that makes sense here, it's kind of like... Um, coming up with some sort of like uh, compassion in your own heart just to be able to forgive in your heart and move on with your life or get in the energy of um, action, taking action um, to get out of this oppression, to get out of this situation. Um, I, I don't think it's justifying this person's behavior by any means because the, the serious stuff that came up in this, this narcissist energy or this reading was very bad. Um, but I feel like to help heal yourself, um, there could be um, for somebody, if this is a past person coming back for this, this sexual relationship um, at the end of the reading, I feel like maybe that might pertain to that as well. Um, maybe listen to this person's side of the story, whatever the connection was between the two of you, why it went wrong. Um, kind of hear them out too on their side, okay? Because maybe that's why they've been waiting to come towards you. Um, maybe they just, you know, are kind of like, you know, Scorpio is not going to fucking give me the time of day. Maybe you cut them off and pretended like they, you were, they were dead to you, <laughs> dead to you. You know what I mean? How a Scorpio will do. So I don't know. Let's see. What else do we have for you? Take action. You're in touch with your truth in this situation and you need to trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself. Okay. Amen. So however that resonates for you, I feel this strongly in this situation. Trust your gut. Lovingly assert yourself in any situation that you feel like is necessary. I know we all want to hop in that low vibrational energy, but it isn't going to do anything good for you, right? Um, I am an angel of marriage. I am assisting you right now. So, um... I feel like there's positive things coming your way, Scorpio. Uh, this card doesn't come out that much. So um, this is the energy of marriage possibly coming into your life or a commitment, um, marriage-like commitment. If you've been alone or if you've not been, it could be from this person from the past. Um, they might see you as marriage material and haven't expressed that to you, okay? So kind of like ending the, <laughs> the reading there because it was a little shitty. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. The beginning of the reading was intense. But I love you guys, and um, I'm here for you. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on my channel to show your love and support. Also, like I said before, I'm offering a personal readings for at least 20 minutes for a donation of $20, and quick readings, 15 minutes for $15. So take advantage of it this week while you can. I'm only doing it this week. I love you guys. Until next time, bye.